Now, even if we try to add one more piece here, see it is getting added. Why? Because we haven't implemented the logic not to accept the piece if already a piece is there. So, how we can implement that? Let me show you once again. Suppose I try to place one piece here and let me check it. Puzzle container. This is a space and one piece is added. Suppose I try to add one more piece here, here itself. See, it is getting added like this. So, what happens here? It is actually getting added within the same div element itself. That should not happen, right? If there is a piece already, then another piece should not be added within the same space. So, what we can do for that? We can use the accept option for that. So, for jQuery UI, there is an accept option and we can specify the condition to be accepted. So, for this, after this, let me write accept. Let me specify function. And here, let me check dollar this dot has class piece present. What does that mean? Whether that particular space or the div element is having the class name piece present. If it is having the class name, then we can return false, which means that that particular div element should not accept any other piece, right? Now, let me save this and check. Let me click start. Let me put one piece here and let me try to put one more piece here itself. Actually, it is not accepted, but it is not going back to the original position. So, what we can do for that, we can specify for the draggable, for revert option, I can specify invalid, which means that the item will revert back to its original position if it is not accepted. This should not be a semicolon, it should be a comma. Now, let me save this and check the output. Let me click the start button. Let me put one piece here. It is accepted. Let me try to put one more piece. See, it is going back to its original position because already a piece is there. Let me try to put a piece here. Let me try to put another piece in the same space. See, it is moving back. So, we have implemented a lot many things in this section. First of all, we have made the pieces draggable and droppable. And for droppable space, we are setting hover class to be UI state highlight to see which space is going to accept the piece. Then for accept, we are returning if already a piece is present in the provided space. Okay. And here what we are doing, we are actually adding the class piece present. If already a piece is dropped into a particular div element in the puzzle container div, and we are adding the class name dropped piece for already dropped piece. Next, what we need to do, we actually have to implement the logic like, suppose a piece is dropped here, then it should be able to move to another space. And in that case, we need to make some checks. Also, once all the 16 pieces are placed, we need to check whether it was correctly done or not. That is, whether the puzzle is solved correctly or not. We will do it in the next lecture.